Meet Tim. Tim Brady. Tim owns a successful sports equipment business, and Tim and his wife Janelle and their two kids are your typical happy-go-lucky family. At least that was until recently, when Tim was on his way to work, when he was blindsided by another car. Tim sustained a head injury during the crash, and since then, he hasn't felt like himself. He has been having headaches, difficulty concentrating, and he sometimes forgets to do important things at work and at home. His family and friends have also noticed that Tim seems a bit anxious, and his mood has been down since the accident. Tim's doctor believes that it would be helpful to get a better understanding of his specific difficulties and what factors are contributing to them. So he refers Tim to see a neuropsychologist. A neuro what psychologist? A neuropsychologist. A neuropsychologist is a doctor who specializes in studying the relationship between everyday behaviors and the function and structure of the brain. Primary care doctors, neurologists, neurosurgeons, psychiatrists, and other specialists often call in a neuropsychologist when they want to assess a patient's brain function after a significant brain trauma or to help make a particular diagnosis. An individual becomes a neuropsychologist by getting a PhD in clinical neuropsychology and undergoing additional training that provides him or her with the necessary tools to become an expert in understanding brain behavior relationships. A neuropsychologist can help doctors, patients, and their families understand what factors contribute to a patient's complaints, what changes they might expect to experience over time, and what can be done to overcome certain difficulties. Neuropsychologists are experts in integrating and understanding all of the factors that could affect a patient. This includes cognitive abilities, mood and personality, medical conditions, and personal history, such as education and work experience. Neuropsychologists are also up to date on current research and are skilled in working with teams of other medical professionals. Let's go along with our buddy Tim as he experiences his first appointment with a neuropsychologist. It's normal to feel nervous about the appointment since it's unfamiliar. But don't worry Tim, neuropsychological assessments are non-invasive. So there's no needles, no pain, and none of those revealing hospital gowns. The purpose is to assess your brain functions, including both your strengths and your weaknesses, which can then be incorporated into making a diagnosis and helping to develop your treatment plan. The assessment will start off with the neuropsychologist talking with you and your wife. He'll gather some information about your medical, family, and personal history that can help him better understand how you function in day-to-day -day life. You will then complete a neuropsychological testing this will be mostly pencil and paper tests while you are seated at a table. These tests measure various brain functions such as reasoning, memory, attention, problem solving ability, and many more. You might be wondering what happens after the assessment. Well, Tim, once you're done with the appointment, the neuropsychologist is able to use his specialized training to interpret your test results based upon your unique history. He uses these findings to make a specific diagnosis, which he can provide to the referring physician. And don't worry, Tim, the neuropsychologist doesn't stop helping you after the diagnosis is made. As a matter of fact, he is able to work with a wide array of other professionals to create a specialized treatment plan just for you. You will also be able to visit the neuropsychologist in the future for continued follow-up and consultation to see how your treatment plan is working out and if additional testing is needed. Well now, looks like Tim has settled back into his day-to-day -day life just swell. His wife and kids sure are grateful to have dear old dad back in full swing. Tim is grateful to have benefited so much from seeing a neuropsychologist, but he's also glad that he now knows about the many types of injuries, deficits, diseases, disorders, and other concerns that a neuropsychologist is uniquely qualified to work with. This bunch of Brady's now know that their brains will feel beautifully boisterous thanks to their friendly neighborhood clinical neuropsychologist. Created using Powtoon.